five top side hustle ideas that make a lot of money fast. Hey gang, I'm going to share with you five businesses that I have created and made money from with you so you can have success. Now, these are not something that I've researched. These are actually businesses that I have had in my past. And I'm 42 years old and I've never had a job and I've been working for myself since high school. Okay. Uh, My name is Mike with MyRealEstateDojo.com and let's get started. The number one side hustle. This is the best side hustle out of the five because it's very, very easy. It doesn't require a lot of money, just a hundred bucks. Um, you don't have to have any experience. You don't have to have any tools. All you got to do is just follow the strategy, what I call flipping bicycles. Now, flipping bicycles may sound very elementary, but there's profit margins of 200 to 700% plus in matter of days, I've done many deals, students have done deals that even have sold bikes in 24 hours or less. Real quick, download my free book, Real Estate Investing for Beginners, the ultimate starter guide at MyRealEstateDojo.com where I teach you how to find motivated sellers, buy their homes at a deep discount, and then have the seller become your own private bank. Subject to, get it now. One more thing, if you're looking for private one-on-one help when it comes to real estate investing, then consider joining my academy where you sit down with me one-on-one. Two, you get monthly coaching. Three, you get access to my best-selling courses. Four, you get access to my video library. And then the list goes on for just $97 a month. Join me now at MrNoFluff.com. Lastly, the best six-figure side hustle, bicycle flipping. Want to see how? Here's a behind-the-scenes video of how I did it. Go to TheBestSideHustle.MrNoFluff.com. Now, let's get back to the content. Now, the bike industry is a billion-dollar industry, and what I teach and I have a course on it if, you, if you're interested, uh, is to find motivated sellers, buy their bikes at a deep discount, and then turn around and sell it for a discount so it sells in warp speed very, very fast. Okay, so that's the best side hustle, flipping bicycles. Now let's move into the number two uh, side hustle, what I call mobile car wash. Now, when you're thinking mobile car wash, what is that? Okay. Um, and some of you may be thinking, well, I don't have the money for the power equipment. Okay. Because there's two ways to do it. You have the first way of you need the equipment and you have the other way where, where I'm going to teach you right now, which is you don't need the equipment. You're using, uh, the business's existing equipment. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, when I say mobile car wash, I owned a moving company for 14, 15 years and having a lot of trucks, I needed to keep my trucks clean because it had our logos and, you know, it was our like uh, walking bulletin board. So, um, you know, I need someone to clean my trucks on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. And that's how I came to this idea. And then I went and bought all the equipment and then I started not only cleaning my own, but cleaning other moving companies. Uh, Equipments and they led into other things, which I'm going to share with you. So, uh, when I'm saying mobile car wash, I'm talking about just commercial. I'm not talking about retail cars or individual people's car, which that can is is one side of the business. But you, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about hitting up transportation businesses, hitting up you know um, restaurants that have catering and they have multiple locations and they have these vans because when they're catering, things spill inside and outside again every commercial business that has a truck or or a van they usually have their logos on it and this is their mobile uh marketing and so they need they need to get this done and there's not a service provider usually for this type of stuff okay um they're all there's a lot of service providers for you know my personal car but not big rigs or big vans or you know things of that nature and so what i'm suggesting is that there's two ways to skin this cat one is you have all the equipment like the trailer and the power washer 
or you can just go to the businesses. You just call up moving companies and say, look, I, I know you know you got 10 trucks. I can watch each one of these trucks for 40 bucks just from the outside of it only. And you have 10 trucks, so that's 400 bucks. And I can do this every time I come out there, which is bi-weekly. You know, so every two weeks I'll come out there. And they'll be like, all right. Or, or, or they'll say, okay, just come once a month. Okay, so you'll just get $400 maybe in 40 minutes or 30 minutes of work by that one account. And imagine having 10 of those accounts, right? Uh, you can see that it becomes very, very lucrative. Plus it's a subscription because they need their stuff washed. Doesn't matter if it's December, if it's August, okay? Um, because again, businesses spend a lot of money to wrap their vehicles and you know this is their brand and they like to keep it clean. Uh, how do I know? I own a business, I own multiple businesses, and I had equipment that I needed to get washed like vans and trucks, okay? That's how I, I, I birthed this idea, mobile car wash, and I'm sharing with you. Now, you can go to businesses that already have the equipment, but they don't have the manpower to come wash it because, believe it or not, just because you have employees doesn't mean they know how to wash cars or they want to do that. I could hardly ever persuade my employees to go out there and wash cars or, or vans. That's why, you know, I came with the idea of, you know, getting new people to come in to do it versus, you know, myself, but you can start off with just doing it yourself. Okay. So that's idea number two, which is the best side hustle to make a lot of money very, very fast. Okay. Let's go to the next idea. The next idea is a mobile personal training. Now, if you noticed half the population is obese, which means they're fat. Okay. They're obese. So if you have any, um, expertise in fitness and health this is very great if you don't you can easily learn okay and and majority of people are obese and they live in an apartments or they're where they work they have a gym so you don't even need any equipments for that this is a business that i started when i was in high school so i didn't have to get a job high school and college and i did mobile personal training i would you know simply go to apartments next to me i would use their business center print out my uh, flyers and then put it in, in, in around the mailboxes and people would call me and, and I would say, look, I charge $55, you know, a session and, and, and I do sessions of like six, you got to buy a package of six. So that was like 300 bucks, you know, boom, they pay me up front and I render the services, you know, for an hour worth of work, you know, uh, basically like the more they commit on a package, if they buy six it's 55, if, if they buy, you know, 12, you know, it's a little bit less, maybe it's 50, you know, if they buy 24, like a year's worth, you know, then you could probably drop it down to 35, but they're already committing and giving you all the money up front and then you render the services. Okay. This was a very, very profitable business. I had not only myself, multiple other personal trainers and, you know, uh, massage therapists and kickboxers. Uh, so it's very, very lucrative. It doesn't require any capital. Uh, again, I did it in high school, you know, being 18 or less, just by printing out flyers and selling to like 31 year olds. So I was 18 selling 31 year olds and they would pay me, you know, checks of 300, 600 bucks, which is like pretty big when you're in high school. Okay. And I would just go and train them. Okay. All right. The next one, uh, the next idea of, you know, side hustle, top side hustle is what I call being a lead broker. Now, a lead broker is an idea that I started with my, before I had my moving company because I didn't have any money, is that I used the internet, which was coming out in the 19, early 19, uh, not 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, that before Google was king, Yahoo was king. And well, what, what I did is, you know, I created a website because I learned how to do it myself because it was too expensive back then. It would cost me like five, 10 grand. And then I listed it in um, the directories like Google and Yahoo, uh, but Google was a spider and they were just barely coming on. And, but before directories were more powerful and I was generating traffic and leads and it was the early, you know, 2000s. And, you know, I, t I turned around and sold those leads to a moving companies, not one, not two, not three, to moving companies and charge them unlimited leads for just a hundred bucks a month. Again, this was like back in the day and then I was dead broke, just out of college, whatever. So, you know, uh, I didn't care. I just wanted to learn and make a little bit of money to cover my hosting server. But today, you know, hosting is free, you know, websites are for free. Um, you don't even have a 
have to learn, you know, programming or HTML or PHP, you know, you can just do, you know, uh, what you see is what you get where you just drag your mouse and make a website. And now you can, you know, generate leads without, you know, I did it through search engine optimization, but back then it wasn't called search engine optimization. It was just, no one even knew what it was, what it was. Right. Uh, cause I was writing the surf of the internet, uh, technology back in the day. So that's what I did. I generated leads. Uh, I had to learn how to make websites, learn how about hosting, but today is so much easier. And then you can sell these leads to a subscription where a company will pay you monthly after month. Who can you sell leads to? Real estate agents. You can sell them to moving companies, car factors, doctors, dentists. I mean, every business, pizza. I mean, like this, I mean, I've done deals where I generated leads for a local pizza shop that was franchised and then the franchisee the head of the franchise reached out to me and i designed their whole idea you know uh on paper how they should have their business and they pay me a consulting fee for that so one thing will lead into to another okay and this is like back in the dial-up guys when aol and net zero were competing at the malls with cds okay so uh again being a lead broker works doesn't matter if it's 2020 1996, right? Every, every business needs leads. Uh, and today you can generate leads so easily through social media, YouTube, Facebook, Craigslist, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, you can create leads old school way by passing out flyers. I mean, all these things are for free or almost for, 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 or for free. Uh, and then sell that lead, you know, focus on a specific company like i'm going to focus on generating leads from moving companies and then learn that industry you know and generate leads for that and then sell it you know then sell it to a moving company uh give them a call and you know they'll be happy to get leads and do like a couple hundred bucks a month and they pay you every month and you give them leads and then to you grow you figure out how to run that business better okay being a lead broker is very very powerful because it teaches you a very important skill it gives you cash flow which then you can generate to have a different business if you don't like the lead business okay now, uh, number five is, is also a very, very easy one. Um, this one requires no money. It's basically to be a freelancer, okay? In today's economy, there's so many ways to make money, right? Uh, for example, you could be a freelancer on Fiverr. And, you know, if you ever watch YouTube, YouTube, you see that those thumbnails, well, you know, you can make them yourself or you can pay someone to make them for you, 20 bucks, 15 bucks. And so, you know, if you have little art skills even if you don't there's software that basically have templates it just takes time to do it uh, you can learn how to do it. it's very simple get on fiverr you know charge 10 20 bucks 25 bucks 50 bucks you know i've even seen 100 bucks per thumbnails and and you know producers like myself will hire you and pay you through those and you make your thumbnails it's pretty, it's pretty simple or you know um you can be a copywriter you know if you know how to write you know there's so many options on being a freelancer okay you can also do like things like um debugging software that's pretty easy like i used to do software development myself in my companies and i would hire people on you know uh freelance.com or rent a coder of upwork or things like that to you know uh test my software, you know, would pay them. And there's other companies that do the same exact thing. So being a freelancer is very, very easy. You could do it from the comfort of your home. But, you know, again, the, it's the reason why I put it at number five is because you're getting the least amount of skills. You're just, you're just focusing on one thing and you're, just, you know, you're, and you're working for someone basically. Uh, where flipping bikes, for example, which I think is the best, okay, best top side hustle idea is because you're working for yourself you, you know you, you you're building your own business you, you're getting all this uh, valuable skills from sales and negotiation um you're you're you, for example when you learn how to flip bikes you can get into the real estate game and majority of skills you learned will transfer over they're actually parallel that's why i created the flipping business the, the bicycle flipping business called the new flip for my real estate investors students because i was tired of them spending all this money with working and not making deals going to other academies so i wanted if something easy for them to understand the basic primary ideas of real estate very very fast with least amount of money with flipping bikes you only need a hundred bucks but once you learn the idea of flipping bikes the skills of negotiation buying stuff at a deep discount, you can apply it into flipping cars. You can apply it 
into ATVs, you're going to fly it into flipping jet skis, flipping airplanes, flipping whatever, because you understand the importance of finding the deals, generating leads, uh, negotiating, buying something at a deep, deep discount, and then you understand of uh, bringing it to the market and staging it and selling it for a discount so you can sell it really quick and, you know, customer service and all the stuff that I can't even go into this video it will even take longer. So anyways, guys, I just, just talked about my five top side hustle ideas that make a lot of money fast. Uh, I'd love to hear yours if you want to leave me a comment. If you want to join my flipping um, bicycle uh, course where I, I, I answer all in every year questions, then there's a link below. It's called The New Flip. You get my book. You get a lifetime one-on-one -on -one coaching on Facebook. You can ask any and all questions. I'm there to help you win when you join my book uh, because I want you to stack your cheese. I, I want you not to get into debt okay, or be able to pay off your debt with you know one of these side, uh, best side hustles. And so the new flip, I think, is the best one. But if you like to do the two, which is uh, mobile car wash or the three personal training or even the four, the lead brokering or even five freelancing, like making YouTube ads or copywriting or debugging or, you know, or whatever, uh, then by all means, be your dreams. Thanks for watching. If you could click the like button, I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget, always remember, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you ever imagined. Romy, see ya.